Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Lessons on 48th Lane. We're so glad that you're here to join us. And we're so sorry we don't have our guests here tonight. Last week was so much fun with our grandkids. Elsie and Madison, we had a blast with them. But now we're back here in steamy, hot Florida. And so um, we're ready to get started for another fun devotion. All right. Okay. We're trying something tonight. And we're going to see. Uh, we've wanted to get the wider angle. So we're testing to see if. So if you could do us a favor when you get here. Oh, this is really weird. We've also no. got. We've got our laptop up. Uh, we're recording on our phone. But it won't show us any. Uh, comments. So we're seeing if we're watching it on the laptop, if that will actually show the comments. So we're going to need you to say hi. Okay. So just type in there hi or something. Hello. Or say you can you can put in there, wish your granddaughters were with you again tonight. We because wish they were too. And we wish they were too. So they if you could so type fun. something in. Now this is really interesting because there's about a five second lag mm -hmm. on what's on the laptop and what's live. So uh, maybe even 10 seconds. So I can tell a joke, <laughs> laugh at my own joke, and then it'll show up. It's really cool. All right, so, all right. So we gotta do the theme song. It's Thursday night. on there because we can see that's going to come in handy tonight for what we've got planned. Yes. All right. All right. So we're going to be playing a game tonight. And with this game, if you could just go get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, that would be great. And because um, we're going to need that for this game that we're going to play. Yep. So go get your paper, go get your pencil or And what's pen. our theme called tonight? Um, what do, what do you see? That's it. What do, what you, do you see? see? All right, so you're going to need a, a pen and a pencil or something like that, piece of paper. All uh, right, uh, so we're giving you a second. Yep, yeah, we are. Go and get we're, it. And we're watching ourselves from I, 10 I seconds ago. I know, it really <laughs> it freaks me out. Like when I leave, I leave on here, and then it, all of a sudden I appear on, uh, it's weird. All right, so. All right, everybody got their paper and pen or pencil? That would be really great. All right, because I have to get something. So what? To play our see? game. Yes. To play our game. To play our game. All right. So he's going over there, and he's going to bring out a tray, okay? And on this tray is lots of different things. So what I want you to do is what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? All right. So we're going to give oh. you a little bit of time to look and see what do you see. All right. All right. I, I may have to hold some items up. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh I like that. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, I have to hold that closer, okay? Oh, yeah. See it, okay. 
tray away and I want you to number your papers one to six because I have some questions to ask you about what did you see number one is this what did pastor Jeff have on his t-shirt what was the writing on his t-shirt just write that down alrighty Number two is this question. What did he have on his hand? Hand or finger? Finger. Or yeah, fingers or finger. Number three, how many bracelets did he have on his wrist? Or bracelet, I don't know. Call them bracelets or? Well, what some. call those things? I don't know. Number four, was he wearing a watch? Number five, what does it say on his hat? Or even a symbol. Yeah, it could be a symbol as well. And number six, what color is his cross? All right. How do you think you guys did? Okay, Pastor Jeff, you wanna come here? And we can go through these. All right, number one was, what did his shirt say? Did you get that? John 3, 16. Yeah. All right, number two. What did he have is on, on his hand or finger? Now that would have been hard, but I was holding up things to get you to try to see. Okay, I actually took my wedding ring off for tonight and I put on, I cannot believe <laughs> Annette has this, but she has my old high school class ring. It's really weird that she has it and it still goes on my finger. And the weird part is if it, my, I decided my one finger is smaller than my other, but anyway. Alrighty, number three. How many bracelets or whatever you call them did he have on his wrist? The answer is three. three. Number four, was he wearing a watch? Were you wearing a watch? The answer is no. All righty. Number five, what did it say on his hat or what symbol did you see on his hat? Well, that one's a tough one because yeah. it's a cross, but it's kind of an unusual cross. And it says Lutheran Hour Ministries. All right. All right. And the last one, number six, was what color is his cross? Yeah. I'm not sure if they could pick it up on the okay. phone. But it's blue. It's kind of a teal, teal blue. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember. Somebody gave this to me. And I Susan, can't remember. I Susan, I think, gave yeah. it to me. Yeah. It's beautiful. There. I would have had to hold it up because that was rather obvious. Now you're going to say, well, that's not fair. Mm -hmm. It's not fair because why is it not fair? Because we are paying all our attention to this. On the tray, right? We are paying our attention on the tray with all the items on there. Okay. And so you are paying attention. And so most likely, I don't know, I can't tell if anybody uh, posted what they were able to get. Again, uh, I'm having troubles. That's all right. Keep talking. All right. So one of these items on this tray is actually going to be our Bible story for tonight. And there's a point to why mm -hmm. we did what we did. Is it this? Mm -hmm. This. A, car. a Beatles double CD. Uh -huh. Ooh, a credit a card. card. Pizza. Hmm. Suntan lotion. Baseball, money, friends. friends, this cow looking thing. I think I did all the rest. 
Well, guess what? It's this guy right mm -hmm. here. We're going to tell the story because way back a long, long time ago, God's people were set free and God came and got them out of slavery in Egypt. And we're told that God set them free. Remember all the stories, all the stories about all the plagues. We did that in one of the early episodes and all the different plagues. And finally, and then when they got up to the Red Sea, what God did, he split the water mm -hmm. so they could walk through and he brings them to the mountain where he gives them the commandments. And so Moses is up on the mountain with God for a long, long time. And what do the people do? They say, oh, Aaron, Moses is never coming back. Have you ever had a time where you felt like you're really anxious for something to happen mm -hmm. or you're anxious for somebody to come and they're like, never gonna come back. And so instead they said, Aaron, what we want you to do, you know, this God, this God that rescued us, uh, he's not like the gods of Egypt. The gods in Egypt, all those gods, you could see them. They would be images of frogs or cows or all these different things. So what we want you to do is make us an image. And so Aaron, instead of standing strong, he says, well, give me all your gold. Give me all oh. your silver. Give me all of that. And he made it and he fashioned a golden calf. Wow. And that's really wow. <laughs> and they all began to worship it like it was the God. And he said, here's the God who delivered you. Isn't that a strange story? Mm -hmm. It's a story. And, and we talk about this word sometimes in church, an idol, you know, and it's not just an American idol, right? So we kind of picked out a bunch of things that said, you know, because really the definition of an idol is this. Anything that we let come before God and we trust more in it or worship it instead of the true God. For the Israelites, for the people of God of way back long ago, they decided we want a golden calf and that's the most important thing. That's who we want to worship. That's the God who delivered us. But sometimes we can make idols out of sports or maybe movie stars or music stars or money. or money or being able to buy stuff or even our friends. friends. And a lot of times these things are good things, but when they become the most important things in our lives, when they kind of come first in our lives, guess what? They are now idols to us. And of course, the Israelites, when Moses came down, God said, you go down and tell those people that I'm the real God. Don't you let them make idols. And so Moses came down and he threw down the commandments that God had made and they ground up the cow and God's people said, we're sorry. We're sorry. We want to worship the true God. And that's our story for tonight. We want to make sure it's really easy to care more about the stuff around us than the God who loves us. And that was what our game was all about, that it's really easy to look at that and forget about the person. The person in this case was me in the game, but the person that we're really talking about is what happens when we forget about God? What happens when, when that's more important to us? And that's not what we want, friends. That's not what we want. We want making sure that God is number one in our lives, right? And, and the same John 3, 16 that I have here on my shirt, the same cross that, what happened? I took it off to show you and I forgot to put it back on. The same cross reminds us how much God loves us. Hey, even at home, you can join with me in saying, we don't even have to look it up, do we? We can remember God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. And that, that's awesome story, right? That is so cool. We don't yes. want to make, we don't want to get so important that this is, becomes more important. We want God to be number one but in our lives. To focus on Jesus. All right. Absolutely. Because oh, so, we're going to sing another song that talks a lot about that. 
and we have some motions with the song and um it's pretty simple it's a great bible verse too right yeah looks like this love the lord you Just go through the motions. Okay, it's just like love, love the, the Lord, Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and then my favorite part, with all your strength. Make make man get those muscles, get those muscles going, all right? And then it goes back and the chorus goes with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. All right, there we go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. With all your Second verse is I will serve the Lord. So We're I just going to do like this. Yeah. Serve. So I will serve the Lord. I will serve the Lord. been great hanging out with you we're gonna close in prayer and uh we, who knows what we're gonna come up we're really trying to figure out how to every once in a while have a special guest with mm -hmm. us in these days of trying to social distance it makes it a little more of a challenge and as much as we would love to be able to put our grandkids on a jet and fly them down here for every thursday night that would be, uh, fun. That would be fun mm -hmm. but i don't know that that's going to be possible but we're, we're trying to figure out ways to be able to do that, all right? Ways to be able to have some other friends come on because it always makes it more fun mm, it when does. we have friends. All right, so tonight, what are we praying? We're gonna have an echo prayer. I think we should have a real prayer, uh, an extra prayer because for a lot of places, mm -hmm. school's getting ready to start next week. And in fact, in our school where we serve at here at St. John, uh, there's gonna be uh, online school next week, but they're still starting. And so yeah. we're gonna pray over that. Maybe you can pray over that. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe the cat can be our focus. Just that we would love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, mind and all our strength. strength. And that become part of this new school year as we know that we start together and uh, just part of it. You wanna mm -hmm. pray? All right, so we do an echo or it, just? It's really up to you. Okay, well, we'll do an echo. And so we're going to say, well, maybe I'll just do it myself. I think it'd be better. There's a lot of words in there. <laughs> so let's do that. Right. Dear Jesus, we just come before you as we know that school is getting ready to start for many of us around the world and in the United States. And we just ask you just to be with the children and the teachers and everyone else who's involved with the school. And I know there's some fear, but there's also a lot of excitement about coming back together. 
And um, we just ask you to keep everyone safe because we know that is utmost in everybody's minds and help, help us all to be really um, do things with caution and um, just let the kids be joyful about coming back to school again. And I know, and I also pray for those who are doing online learning or homeschool learning and just um, open up their minds and, you know, help them to do their best in whatever way they are learning this year. And then I just want to close with that last part is love the Lord with all your heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. With all your mind. With all your mind. And with all your strength. With all your strength. Amen. Amen. All righty. All right. It's great having you again. Thanks. And great to have you here in 48th mm -hmm. Lane. Hope that you had fun. Uh, we'll come up with something. Who knows? We're about ready for I, trying to find a cooking thing. Yeah, that's uh, my goal. I yeah. love to cook, and so I thought it would be fun to do a cooking demonstration. So maybe next week. We'll maybe see. next week. I'm kind of liking puppets. I would like to get oh, puppets. Oh, puppets? That would be yeah. fun, too. We're not going to cook a puppet, though. No, that would be No, gross. that would be weird. <laughs> All right. All right. So you guys right. have an awesome, we'll awesome day. We'll see you day. next Thursday night, 7 o'clock.